Oh, it's so pretty outside. I love it. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. It's April 1st. I can't say I have much in the way of, uh, in the way of news to report to you today. Ah, one item I should share. This morning, as I was walking, beautiful cherry blossom petals fluttered before my eyes. I hope everyone takes the time to enjoy these blossoms while they're here. Ah! What's that? I sent an update to the DIY Recipes app. You'll now find the recipe for a delightful outdoor picnic set. Oh, thank you, Tom. I admire the cherry blossoms while enjoying some homemade lunch, hmm? All right. Oh, this is nice. I love it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Animal Crossing. Uh, let's see what's in the mail real quick. Happy Home Academy. Oh, I got a rank B. That's kind of cool. Now, what is this? Oh, an orange chair. Okay. These cherry blossoms are so cute. Oh, I can catch one of these, right? There we go. I got a cherry blossom. This cherry blossom petal is so lovely. Pink is really its color. Indeed. Well, now that it's a new day, I can get some more iron. So we can finally get that shop started. <laughs> because, good lord. I left this trash outside so I could attract some bugs, but... So far, it's been like however many weeks now. <laughs> like, I, I still haven't gotten anything, so I don't know. I don't remember how to do that. I'll figure it out, it's fine. Hi, Cherry. Sup, what, what? Where are you headed? I wanna chat. I love how chill it is here. Like, you can sleep till noon and nobody even notices. What, what? Boon outside, or? Oh, nope, he's gone, okay. There's Boone, he's fishing. I think these scaredy fish are just afraid of my huge bulging muscles, but boom. I thought he was gonna say eyes for some reason. Money! Ooh, gold! Brilliant. Ooh, it's a grasshopper over there. Hold on, let me get my nut. There we go. Yes! I caught a- what did I call it a grasshopper? It's a locust. <laughs> a long locust. Or as I call it, a locust. Ooh, fossils. Ooh, new butterfly. Um, hold on. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, come back. No! There we go. I almost just blew it there. Yes! I caught a common blue bottle. I'll put it in a rare green jar. And there goes my net. All right, let's pay Blathers a visit. Mr. Owl, wake up. I have some fossils. I have been carrying around a lot of things since uh, last time, because when I ended the episode, I just kind of, you know, left immediately. <laughs> so here we are. Got some rare fossils. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's see what all I can donate. Okay, blue bottle, uh, coprolite, mammoth torso, locust, pterosaur, snail, triceratops. All right, neat. Oh, I see something. Um, shoot, I don't have a net though. There was a fly by that tire. I hope it's still around after I get my net. Hi. Well, hello there, Paotic. Your home is much roomier, yes? Didn't you already talk to me about this? I don't know. Which brings us to... Mm hmm 198,000 bells. Okay. We got it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hi. Um, I want to be able to finish the shop, please. 30 iron nuggets. These are for you. All right. And because you helped gather what we need to start construction on the shop, we want you to have the honor. What is the honor? What is this honor, you ask? We'd like you, a key figure in making this happen, to pick out the perfect location for the new shop. Place that shop construction kit wherever you like, and we'll get started on construction. I'm so excited to see the location you picked for us. Hold the thought. I got things to sell. 
and bye. See you later. Ah, oh, that fly was gone. I knew it would disappear. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Ooh, that's new. I caught a, oh, a neon tetra. It wasn't hard to track. All right. Yeah, there's, since it's a new month, we're able to see some different types of fish coming out. And insects, ev evidently, since I got that blue bottle. Oh yeah, I guess I never checked the uh, DIY recipes. What is a recycled can thumb piano? Oh, is that one I got from the... Okay. Ooh, King Tut mask. Oh, and this is what uh, Tom sent me. Okay. Dream house. All right. Honestly, I feel like the shop should go somewhere nearby the plaza, right? I mean, I feel like this vacant spot is kind of nice. So, let's consider putting this here. Oops. Yeah, let's try, let's try this. There we go. Well, let's see. Uh, let me donate a little bit more. Hopefully that fly comes back. I don't know. I don't know how to get it back. I don't know how likely it's supposed to spawn. Okay, so we got this tiny little tetra. The neon tetra is truly a marvel of the tropical fish world. Just look at how tiny it is. Rude. <laughs> and how very filled with neon. I imagine its environment must be just as flashy as it is for it to have developed such colors. I wonder how flashy I might be had I been raised somewhere even half as vibrant. And there you have it. All right. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Oh. Hey. I must catch that dragonfly. Yeah. Where is it going? Did I already lose it? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Stop it. Oh, no. You're cornered. I got it. Yes. A darner. It better watch its mouth. Ooh, I got a clownfish. How many can it fit in a car fish? <laughs> Dang, my pockets are full already. Oh, wait. Oh. I'll come back to you later. Um, I got things to do at the moment. All right, what is this? The Dunkleosteus flourished long before the dinosaurs and was a sort of armored fish. Curiously, only fossils for the head and shoulders have been found. We must simply imagine the rest. While its face was rather frightening, I like to picture a cute little tail and perhaps some fluffy paws on its fins. Such speculation is not scientific, of course, and is essentially amounts to pale paleontological fanfiction. I probably butchered that. I own that. <laughs> I own that. Wow, alright. Yes, I have a clownfish. Oh, and a darner, that's right. Let me talk to you real quick about the shop. Oh, we've got our work cut out for us if we're going to open it by tomorrow, but I can't wait. Alright. Okay. Wake up, sir. Get up. Get on up. Or this buffet may be the end of me, lads. But I think I can tap a bit more peach cobbler down the gullet. Avast! Where'd the buffet go? Oh, buffet. <laughs> Where'd the buffet go? What trickery is this? Do you even know who you be messing with? I be Captain Gullivar. Legendary pirate. Feared for all manner of dreadful <laughs> gullduggery. Arr. I was partaking of a bit of the... Oh, the good soda. I've been drinking. Uh, I'm just gonna skip through this a little bit. Communicator. Yeah, we get the gist. Wait, hold on. Let me just double check. You did say the ocean, right? Sunk off this island shores. So good thing I have the diving suit for this. <laughs> Which is also nice because I can uh, get some new critters for the museum. Alright, here we go. Mm. Yes, I got a sea anemone. Sea anemone. The enemy of my anemone is my frenemy. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. There we go. It's kind of a crappy phone case you got. <laughs> Arr, have you found it yet? Yar. I don't know how you're able to talk on that thing. Maybe it's waterproof. All right, thanks. Let me just continue swimming. I tried to change. Mmm, barnacles. Acorn barnacles will grow into an oak barnacle. 
<laughs> Ooh. I got some seaweed. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> oh, good lord, you better stop with these puns. Alright, what are you? Oh, starfish. I got a sea star. Maybe it'll, it'll give me an autograph. A sea cucumber. It's a bit cumbersome. I got a turban shell. It's totally turbular. <laughs> oh, I want to kill myself. We got a sea slug. It's kind of salty about that. Wait in my water. Wait in the water. I'm going to check out this bottle. I want to see the, what that is. Thanks for picking this up. I found a recipe in an old dinosaur, dinosaur book I didn't know I still had. That dino's got to be real mad, <laughs> real mad by now. It's real easy. My head was stuck in my shirt, and I still did the DIY. Okay, you should try making it too, Captain Hugh T. Crafter. All right. Oh, carp on a cutting board. All right, and we got the. Oops, overshot it. There we go. All right, let us bury this. Let me uh, transplant the tree, actually. Honestly, what if I just plant it outside the house? I feel like that works. Like, just roughly right here. There we go. I got this thingy. Good old Diplodocus. What would we do without you? The stout fellow embodied- The stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs. Those sturdy legs, that magnificent tail, and above all, that extraordinary neck. Did you know that its center of gravity was such- was such that sitting up on its hind legs was probably easy. What's more, paired with its long neck, the, this ability greatly increased its reach for eating plants. I don't know if that's supposed to be like him yelling at me or something, but like, please don't. <laughs> Best of all, Diplodocus probably grew its entire life having no real adult size. That's actually weird to think about. Would that we, would that we were all so gifted. Okay, interesting. I have other donations. Oh my god, look at all those. Yeah, we're good. I think Boone went inside his house, so I want to see if he's working on a craft, maybe. Nope, just empty and dark and dingy. Yo, you're here. Perfect timing for an indoor workout, ba-boom. Let's talk. I put a ton of effort out in this room. Oh, I don't mean decorating. I work out in here. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the sweat I can work up in here. I bet you can still smell it. Gross. <laughs> Alright, bye. I'm gonna remove this. There we go. Alright, I think from here I'm going to time travel back a day because I want to see what this whole bunny day business is all about. So we will be right back. Oh, look at that. Oh, uh, that's a t It's weird, but it's adorable. Oh, I got mail. I love this music, it's cute. What is this present? Whoa, oh. Oh yeah, because it's not April anymore, then the cherry blossoms went away. How interesting. Hi, Cherry. Wow, check out this rockin' bunny day weather. If you're gonna be out finding eggs, you can't beat this. There's Boone. It's here, the day of bunny. Are you ready, Peotic? I'm gonna hunt those eggs until I'm until my muscles are literally weeping with exhaustion. It's gonna be awesome. All right. <laughs> All right. Please don't fall in the river. Oops. Here we go. Five thousand bells. Oh really? Go inside. I don't need them anymore, so I don't need to catch them with a net. We're good. Who would have thought the very first tree I tried to chop down, there'd be a, a nest of wasps that would fall out. Let's see, what can I get in this uh, nook stop? Pretty good tools, recipes, I've been wanting that. Redeem. I can make stronger tools that won't break so easily now. Oh, finally. This is going to be a material gathering game changer. Hmm. Oh. Have a nice day. Uh, let me check those recipes out. Ah, oh, brilliant. We got the axe. Oh, I love it. Yeah, let's upgrade a couple of these. 
Okay, let's craft. So I can make an axe, a real axe. Hooray. Now I can make a real fishing rod or a real net. Hmm. I want to do the net. Here we go. I made a net. Ah, oh, nice. It leaves the stumps behind. I'm going to leave these stumps here because I know that there's a couple of bugs um, that like to, you know, do that. So, oh, hey, there's a money spot. Oh, there's the bunny day thing. Bunny day rug, huh? Okay. Something else. Oop. Alright, can I talk to you? Hey there, Skipper. It's me, Zipper. Lucky yellow bunny. Something super special. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. I've already talked to you before. I wonder if because I traveled back in time that it kind of reset his dialogue. I don't know. Thanks. I'm gonna go get this real quick and then I'll come back to you. An arch. And this is a wreath? Every oh, I guess I don't have it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention something kind of important. Here's the deal. If you're ever short by one egg of a certain type, I can help you out. Oh, okay. I have eggs. Alright, I have all six types. Go for it. What is that? Oh, there's a balloon right in my face. Oh, a bunny day basket. Is that the only thing I can make? Thank you. I should still have one of everything, right? Sky, wood, water, leaf, earth, and stone, yeah. Oh, it's just a bunny day basket, okay. You just wanted to show them to me, suit yourself, that's funny. Alright, well, I think by now we've seen enough of this. Oops. Well, let me get a new slingshot and then, uh, yeah. Bunny day table. Hmm. Well, yeah, I could probably, like, sell half of it. Well, let me see. Can I craft a slingshot? Like, a, a decent one now, or...? Nope, I just have the one slingshot recipe. Can I even make that? Do I need sticks? I need sticks. Or no, I didn't need sticks, but you know what it was. Okay. I guess I don't have enough things to craft it, so let me just buy a new slingshot. Um, let me sell a bunch of things that I have on hand. Dang, 14,000 bells. Alright, let's go plant this other money tree, and then we will time jump back forward a few days. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this part. I will see you in like a few days because we are still behind, so we will be back. I think we'll jump forward like five days. Alright, April 5th. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. Now for today's news. Business is booming at the shop my staff just opened. Well done, Masters Timmy and Tommy. It's a small shop, but they'll change stock daily and carry a selection of goods, sure to better your island life. Come by from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily, and if the store is closed, simply use their drop-off box to sell your items. Ah, one more thing. To celebrate the opening of the shop, we've added a new catalog service to Nook Shopping. The catalog lets customers see a record of items they've, ob they've obtained or purchased. Another mass-marketed items can be ordered directly through the catalog, so make good use of it. Now then, with all that said, I hope everyone takes advantage of the new Nook's Cranny. By the way, we will be holding a special commemorative ceremony soon, as usual. Stop by resident services if you'd like to, uh, like to participate. I'd like to participate in decent reading. Oh dear, never fails. Of course this would happen right in the middle of a broadcast. Aha, uh -huh. one moment please. Hello? This is Tom Nook from Nook Inc. Yes. What? The getaway package? Why, yes. 
Yes, yes, of course. And that's all for today's island-wide broadcast. Ah, so sorry to put you on hold. Allow me to give you a full overview of the... Dot, dot, dot. Hmm, maybe I should go be nosy and investigate what he's talking about. I wonder if that's, uh, what's her face? Bianca that I ran into, um, at the island? That might be her. Ooh, there's a, a money tree and a money spot. Solovar. Ahoy, thank you for the present. What did that say? Oh, Hatchbatner. I thought that said something in German. I was really confused. Pirate boots. All right. Maybe we shake this down. Oh, the other one's ready too. I guess it's been a few days. Dang, I broke 100k. The rich are just getting richer. Oh, right. I need a new slingshot. I forgot about that. I sold my things and left last time. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I was not paying attention. Oops. I mean, I'm already pretty stacked, so... It's fine. We'll be fine. We'll live. Oh, hello. Look at the shop. Yo, I was wondering. Anyone tell you about reactions yet? What, what? I mean, like, when you feel full of joy and your body just starts moving on its own, like I'm doing now? Words ain't always up to, s <laughs> up to snuff when it comes to expressing yourself. Sometimes only reactions will do. At times like that, you want to press ZR and let everyone know how you feel. Easy, right? Okay. I'm going to tell you the others. Oh, I'm going to tell the others to teach you any sweet reactions they know. So don't forget to hit them up. Thank you. I know how to be joyful. I learned a reaction. These gestures will help me express my feelings. As if words weren't enough. All right, well, let's check out Nook's cranny for the first time. Oh, hello. I was worried when I heard you were all moving to a deserted island, but this is much nicer than I imagined. It's so nice, so nice. We've been here for a little while, and it's really starting to come along. It seems we make new discoveries almost every day. We moved here because of our jobs, but we're having a lot of fun too. Look at their cute little aprons. I'm so pleased to hear that. Actually, I came here today to check in on you, on you all and see if you need any assistance with anything. It's our way of celebrating your new shop. You know, we sisters like to help wherever we can. We able sisters. Any island ideas come to mind? You're too kind, Mabel. We're just overwhelmed that you even thought to come visit us. Visit us. Oh, hey, I think. Something come to mind? Well, we still have some logistical challenges to overcome. We depend on mail orders for a lot of our goods. Having the shop... Oh, having the shop should make it a bit easier for us to obtain ready-made furniture and stuff like that, but... We still need a clothing supplier. Aha! Uh -huh. Something tells me that today is your lucky day. As it turns out, it's really not that difficult for us to get to this island. How about if I stop by every so often to sell you some of our wares to your wonderful island dwellers? Oh, wow! Do you really mean that? Our residents would be so overjoyed, so overjoyed. Of course, silly. If we can sell our goods here, it's a win-win situation for everyone. I suppose with that settled, I should head home and work out the details with my sister. Yes, please do that. Do that. We can't wait to see you here again. Bye, Mabel. You Sonic hed the Hedgehog look-alike. Oh, Peotic. Sorry to keep you waiting, waiting. Thanks to your help, we've opened this amazing new shop. Our shop is named in honor <laughs> of... <laughs> oh, wait. Our shop is named in, in honor of a shop. Our... Oh, I totally did not see that last part. I was, like, trying to make sense of it. Our beloved President Nook used to run. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. As you can see, we're offering ready-made furniture and items that can't be made as DIY projects. Also, in that back cabinet, with the tools and other miscellaneous goods, we have wallpaper and flooring. We hope to fulfill all your shopping needs. Thank you. Oh, does anything here catch my eye? I mean, I do need something better than that um, crappy little radio. That I have back home. A cassette player. 2,000 bells. Sure, I'll buy it. I will take this lawn chair. 
And I'll take that cute little hammock too. Thank you, 1300 bells. And then what's in your cabinets? I need a slingshot. All right, there we go. Oh, there's new recipes in here. Let's see, so we got DIY for beginners. Test your DIY skills. Why is that so expensive? I forgot what that is. I don't have anything for uh, a ladder yet. Let me try this. Is a digital DIY recipe book. Okay, time to send the recipes from test your DIY skills to your phone. Ah, oh, vibration. And we're done. I hope you enjoy DIY even more now with your new recipes. I totally forgot what this is supposed to entail. Oh, uh, let me get some flowers. Should I get cosmos? Tulip? I like tulips. Let's do a bulk of five. Okay, let's see. What was the feelings of these again? Oh, this stuff. Okay, a mini workbench. Okay, well that's nice. Help? Okay, I was like, I couldn't see. I wonder if these stumps, um, like I wonder if those different like beetles and stuff only, oops, only uh, come to them in the summer or if spring is still a valid option. I can't remember. Look out, Cherry. Okay, there we go. I should have enough, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's craft. Um, there it is. Yeah, some mini DIY workbench. All done for now. Let me pick up this one and put the mini... Oh, uh, where is it? I have so many things, oh my gosh. Um, right. Here it is. Yay! Oh, it's so cute. All right, I can start moving things around again, since the thing is bigger. I have a hammock, a lawn chair. Uh, we're gonna put this bunny... Maybe I'll put it, like, right here next to the workbench. Just a cute little decoration, yeah. And then the other two, yeah, they just go outside. All right. All right. Um, I wonder. Hmm. Maybe I could put the hammock by the river or something. I'm gonna push it up against the house. Maybe that'll be something good. I mean, it's kind of. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. And then, maybe over here. Ah, uh, well, no. It makes sense to have them together, right? Might be a little close. Here we go. Just to get a little, you know, you could have a therapy session with a friend on the hammock or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can move these trash items somewhere else for now. Like, just over here in the sunlight or something. I don't know. Uh, or... Or maybe just, mm, I don't know, maybe just right here. Here we go. All right, maybe, oh, there we go. We got a citrus beetle, I think that is. Nice. Uh, citrus longhorn beetle, aren't you happy for me? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, the coconut trees. Let's plant a few- oops. I want to plant a few more of these. Good lord, okay. Here we go. Let's have another one here. Another one over here. And then, yeah, one right here. And let's put like at least one more all the way up here. There we go. 
I needed to catch my breath and just kind of flopped here. You know, watching the sky is really calming. It is. Alright, I think I'm gonna donate these uh, last few things here. And then we're gonna, like, end the episode. I might sell a few more things first and then we'll end it. Alright, he's got something new. Uh, make a donation, please. Okay, so we got that beetle, ankylotail, and a plesio torso. Cool. Alright, let's take a quick peek at the museum, see how much progress um, we've made so far. We've got a lot of work cut out for us, but it's a start. Okay. Um, there's the tetras in that tank. Got a few things over here. I love how serene the museum is, especially the the butterfly house and uh, this whole aquarium section. There's all those fish. All right, you got all these guys up in here, making a nice swirling school. Mm hmm. And there's a couple things in here, but again, a lot of work uh, to do left. So. Let me go sell some things real quick. Oh, there's three new services. First, let's talk about turnips. I've heard the turnip market is about to take off here on the island. You'll probably see a turnip seller soon. We'll buy any turnips you have on hand. The price is set in the morning and afternoon, so be sure to stop by. One note, we don't accept turnips on Sundays. That's the day the turnip seller visits the island. The second new service involves a hot item of the day. The hot item will change every day. If you bring one in to sell, we'll give you double its normal price. You can check the hot item of the day on the sign in front of the shop or by asking us directly. And the last new service we're offering is a drop-off box. You can find it in front of the shop. Say you're in a hurry or the shop is closed. You can just drop off any items you want to sell. Easy, right? We'll pay you later by sending the funds directly to your bank account. And I should mention a few things. There is a handling fee, and we don't accept turnips. And hot items... Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, okay. And hot items will sell for just their regular price. And I think that wraps it up. Sorry about that. That explanation went on for a bit. How can I help? I just want to sell. Alright, thank you. I'm gonna double check something quick. Oh, I do need a watering can, actually. Because I'm going to plant these flowers in just a few minutes. Oops, I didn't mean to press that. <laughs> I think there's a separate recipe for the ladder, but I'm going to try DIY for beginners. Alright, and we're done. Thank you. Um, so what all should I have from that? Oh, ocarina. Okay. I was thinking this was um, some of the basic stuff. All right, that's nice to have too, actually. All right, I think the, I might get the ladder recipe later. So I will check back in another day. All right, I think I might just plant these uh, flowers over here. Here we go. So if I have a watering can. There we go. So my tulips are watered and they will sprout eventually. I think for the outro, I'm going to go in here because I feel like I need a different outro song than this one that always plays, so. I need to check out these butterflies. I don't think I caught very many. Ugh, there's a wasp. And the, yeah, the bagworm, that's what it was. Hello, honeybee. Oh, there's a mantis. There's a wharf roach in there. A paper kite butterfly. There's a locust. And then, yeah, that's pretty much what we got so far. Ah, the butterfly house. Ah, oh, look how cute. Yeah, I think this is a good spot to leave it off at. So, yeah, since we are out of time, that's going to be it for this episode. If you liked everything you saw, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. 
and to hit that notification bell to stay up to date on future content just like this. My name's Payotic, signing off. Bye!